So many people have jumped ship on the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro after comments like this. Now I get that it's just a $700 launch monitor, but is it really that bad? I'll admit, when I first got my Rapsodo, I had these exact same frustrations. From 230 yard carry drivers, to now hitting 275 yard average carries, sometimes more. My 9-iron was barely cracking 140, and now it's 155 on average. And the solution I found to getting perfect numbers was fairly simple. But first, here's a few things you need to consider. This is a $700 launch monitor, not a GC3, not a track man, but that doesn't mean the data is wrong and you should be able to experience accurate numbers, but what it does mean is that Rapsodo users are just broke. So this is it? After all we've been through. But seriously, hang in there for a minute. Most of us choose the Rapsodo because we're trying to play golf and learn golf on a budget. And there's nothing wrong with that, but what it does mean is that a lot of us have garage setups or smaller indoor setups like myself. But I hit on TrackMan simulators all the time and the numbers on the Rapsodo are way off. And while that may be true, those are commercial setups. Those are four or five times bigger. And of course, you have no problem swinging full and freely in there. You're not worried about hitting the walls. You're not worried about hitting the ceiling. And you don't have a $30,000 car six feet from you. There's a big difference between hitting into a massive enclosure and hitting into your Spornia 7. So, okay, here's one thing to consider. The Rapsodo MLM2 Pro is a radar-based unit. It's prone to radar interference. Radar interference can make your unit do all sorts of crazy things. You'll get a lot of wild numbers. This can happen if you have exposed concrete or metal, sometimes fans or heaters running nearby. But how can you actually rule out radar interference as an issue? Well, if you were experiencing interference, you definitely know. I'm talking about hitting a 10 foot chip and it goes 45 yards. I'm talking about hitting a 200 yard 4 iron and it goes 55. You would definitely know if it was radar interference. And you wouldn't be consistently seeing a 9 iron that goes 130 yards when you think you hit it 150 yards on the course. And since Rapsodo's biggest update at the end of last year, I've seen almost no complaints of radar interference, probably less than 5 when before I was seeing them monthly. I stay active in the community and so I see those posts all the time. But it's safe to say radar interference is a thing of the past with the Rapsodo. Because if you don't know, Rapsodo's big update where we got brand new graphics also included a reduction to radar interference and yes, it's working fantastically. So if you made it this far, you might not want to hear this, but this is the solution that I made. So after hitting a bunch of 230 yard drivers or worse, I reached out to support, said, hey, what's up with my unit? I can't hit this thing as far as I'm supposed to. And I'm a one handicap. I know exactly how far I hit the ball. I've played in commercial sims. I've played in simulators all the time. I knew exactly what to expect. And basically their response was, you suck, get better. But I have hit in commercial simulators before and I do know my numbers and I was standing by that. I know my distances, bro. I'm a one handicap golfer. I've been a plus two at the best. Sounds like a lot of us in these groups and I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying there is a solution. And as frustrating as it is, I had to consider the possibility that indoor swing syndrome is real. I have a lot more space indoors than some of you guys. And yet it's still scary hitting indoors, even scarier watching other people hit in your simulator in your house. I mean, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And if you have the slightest bit of hesitation, that will definitely affect your swing speed and overall numbers. Not to mention that it's loud indoors and your brain associates the loud crack of a driver with a far traveling golf ball. It's just science. And if you don't believe me and you actually want a solution to your problem, here's what you can do. Take your unit outdoors, take it to the driving range. Taking it outside is gonna be the best way for you to know if the Rapsodo is actually putting out good numbers because outdoors, it's completely different. And I'm not saying you don't know how far you hit the ball, but it is pretty eye-opening to have all of this data at your fingertips you can constantly reference back to. It teaches you a lot about your game. I'm a data guy and I love learning from my numbers and admittedly, I learned a lot about my game in the first few months having this unit. I'm gonna sell this piece of junk and buy a $3,000 BLP with a $500 a year subscription. So take this unit to the driving range. Hit wedges, hit irons, hit drivers, of course. Learn those numbers, study those numbers, I promise you, those are accurate. Now, go back to your sim, hit some shots. It's still likely that your numbers are gonna be shorter, but they're not going to be short forever. Here's some things you can consider. Your hitting mat. Poor quality hitting mats are not going to allow for full compression, and it's gonna be easy for you to lose a few yards. The temperature. It's cold in your garage, it's cold in your simulator. 
the balls are going to be even colder even when it warms up. You're going to lose some compression there as well. Look how much distance you can lose. Altitude is a huge one. A lot of us don't realize, one, that normally we play at a certain altitude that's not sea level, and two, there is quite a big difference between hitting at sea level and hitting at 2,000 elevation. You hit the ball 2% longer for every 1,000 feet of elevation. 2,000 feet of elevation, that's 4%. That could be 12 yards on some drive. So I suggest you learn your numbers at sea level. It's humbling, but it's going to be the best way to truly know how far you hit the ball. And I'm talking carry distance, not total, because every simulator has a different algorithm. And finally, consider that to some degree you're experiencing indoor swing syndrome. Every single experience user in these Rapsodo groups on Reddit are going to tell you the exact same thing. We've all been there and we've all improved along the way. Once again, these were my original numbers when I started playing indoors with my Rapsodo. Two weeks later, after making literally no changes whatsoever, my numbers started to improve. I made no swing changes at all. My contact was improving, I was practicing, and I just started to feel so much more comfortable in my setup. Less than a year later, here are my numbers. This was not a case of radar interference or not having a unit that's calibrated. This was learning how to hit the golf ball indoors, and that's okay. So what I strongly urge you to do is just stick with it. Stick with it for a week, for a month. Give it some time, guys. You will see improvement. There's no other unit in this price range that's giving you better data. And you've got all this data at your fingertips to review and learn from and get better from. And trust me, you'll feel so much better knowing that you actually improved. As a scratch golfer for most of my life, I've never been so humble as when I first got this unit. But since then, I've started to see better numbers, and it really does feel good. Having that knowledge is so powerful for your game. And when it comes to any other budget unit, it can be really easy to give up on it and assume that the unit is just faulty. But I gave this time, and I'm really glad I did, because my game has come so far on and off the course. And if you are like me, and you do happen to see massive improvements over time, please just share your experiences in the groups where you see all these negative comments. Because like anything else, of course, you're going to see more negative reviews than positive reviews. It just happens. And that's part of the reason why I started this channel. So if you don't hate me for calling you out in this video, like the video and subscribe, please. I know a ton about the MLM2 Pro and I share all of my knowledge, the good and the bad. I'm not saying it's a perfect unit. There are absolutely quirks, but I can help you improve and learn through those quirks. And if you have any other questions, just put them in the comments. I'll help anybody out the absolute best that I can. Welcome to Unreal Golf. I know my distances, bro. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what you're talking about. Absolute paperweight. This never happened with the Garmin. Garmin R10. This never happened with my Garmin. $200 a year, what a ripoff. I'm gonna sell this and buy a $3,000 BLP with a $500 a year subscription. I'm gonna sell this piece of junk and buy a... I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go buy a square.